Okay, what we're going to learn today is similar right triangles. Now, there is a theorem called the similar right triangle theorem that says if you drop an altitude from the hypotenuse of a right triangle, so that's that uh, segment CD there, that it two triangles are formed. It actually cuts the great big triangle into two smaller similar right triangles. So all three of those triangles are similar. Now remember that similar means same shape, so all corresponding angles are congruent, different size, all corresponding sides are proportional. So we are going to set up proportions to find missing sides of similar right triangles. Okay, so when you're looking at this, you start off with one great big large triangle, and then when you drop that altitude, you kind of end up with a medium and a small. So you can think papa bear, mama bear, baby bear triangles, kind of. Okay, now you have a graphic in your handout or in your packet that has the large triangle, the medium triangle, and the small triangle, and it shows the corresponding parts. So I need you to be able to identify the corresponding parts of these three triangles. For instance, if you took the hypotenuse of the large triangle and set it in a ratio with the hypotenuse of the small triangle, that would have to equal the same ratio of the short leg of the large triangle to the short leg of the small triangle. Notice I'm putting corresponding parts over each other, hypotenuse over hypotenuse, short leg over short leg. Okay, so what if we took the short leg of the small triangle and set it in a ratio with the short leg of the medium triangle, that would have to equal the same ratio as the long leg of the small triangle to the long leg of the medium triangle. So again, I'm setting up corresponding parts of two triangles in ratios, and they have to equal the same ratio as any other two corresponding parts of those triangles. Now what you cannot do, the biggest mistake I see, is that you can't mix up your triangles when you're looking at corresponding parts. You cannot say, for example, short leg of the small triangle to short leg of the medium is in the same ratio as hypotenuse of the small triangle to hypotenuse of the large. If I'm going to be comparing my small and my medium, both ratios must be small and medium. I can't then switch to the large triangle. So that is a no-go. That is not correct. Okay, so let's try this. Let's use corresponding parts. Let's set up ratios and proportions and see if we can find missing side lengths. So we have a right triangle here, and it has an altitude drop to the hypotenuse. And then I've put our reference angles here. I turned them around so they're kind of in the same orientation as our problem. So it doesn't read very well, but you can kind of get the gist. And when I'm looking at this, I see I have the long leg of the medium triangle. Corresponds to the long leg of the small triangle in the same ratio as the short leg of the medium triangle is to the short leg of the small triangle. And so now I'm just going to put numbers in there. 16 is to x, as x is to 9, I'm going to cross multiply, take the square root of both sides, and I get that x is 12. Now I highly encourage you to do exactly what I did here, and um, write it out in words first. It just makes it so much easier. Okay, let's try another one. All right, I, again, I took our uh, reference uh, triangles and I kind of tried to put them in the same orientation as our problem here. So they're flipped. So again, you can't read it very well, but you can get the idea. Now I'm looking at this and here's what I see. I see nine and two, but if I add those two together, I would have the hypotenuse of my large triangle. And I could compare that to the hypotenuse of the medium triangle, which is y, which is what I'm trying to solve for. That has to be in the same ratio as the long side of my large triangle is to the long leg of my medium triangle. So now I'm going to put numbers in there. 
11, 9 plus 2, is to y as y is to 9. And I'm going to cross multiply. I'm going to get 99 equals y squared. But I don't want y squared. I want y. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And that, in simplest radical form, is 3 square root of 11. And a lot of, make sure you're reading carefully, a lot of the times we'll be asking for simplest radical form versus a decimal. So make sure you're using one of my calculators. Okay, so now what I'd like you to do is I would like you to try these two problems. Try the first one. Try problem number seven on your own. Use your little reference triangles to help you set it up. Pause your video and do this problem. So pause your video now. Okay, now I want you to compare. I'm hoping you set yours up with the hypotenuse of the large to the hypotenuse of the small equals short leg of the large to short leg of the small. And then when you put in all of your stuff, you should have gotten that t equals 343 units. Okay, so now I want you to try problem number eight. So pause your video and try problem number eight. Now I'm telling you just right up front, be careful and put a plus four in parentheses when you're setting up your proportion. Okay, pause your video now. Okay, I'm hoping you shall set up short leg to short leg over long leg to long leg. And then you would have to distribute your 3 to your a plus 4, and then you would solve and get that a equals 8. If you had issues with any of these, please make sure and talk with one of the teachers. Um, otherwise, I think you're ready to do your homework about similar right triangles.